Well, hello traders and investors. I'm L.A. Little and this is your weekly Neo TA wrap. We take a look at these markets. I'm doing it from a neoclassical perspective. That means each time we ask ourselves what happened last week, what does it tell us about the coming ones? I do a show every Sunday evening broadcast over 4 to 10 o'clock Eastern Time archived on YouTube. Sign up a channel L.A. Little. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, just reach up in the right-hand corner and do so. Anytime I push content, you'll get a notification. As far as what did happen, let's take a look at the charts. And uh, I'll start here with the NDX because uh, the NDX, the NASDAQ, those are the ones that have been pushing. I've got the weekly up. Get another breakout, right? They joined the S&P on the breakout on this time frame, bullish, and uh, just pushing to the top side now. So you have breakouts on the NDX. You have breakouts on the uh, NASDAQ composite, the broad composite, going after the highs now. You have breakouts that have already taken place here on the weekly on the S&P 500. And if we go finally to the small caps, you've got small caps that are broken out as well. Folks, you've broken out everywhere. You know, I, I, I see, you know, a Druckenmiller. I see, you know, you just go down the list, you know, it, whether, whether it's investment banks, whether it's, it's individuals, you know, high profile people all telling you don't be invested right? Take your money out of the market. The market's going up. You know, what are you supposed to do? Sit there and twiddle your thumbs? I mean, give me a break. Follow the price action. Follow the market. Follow the money. Money taking this market higher. I don't care whether they don't like it or not. Money's taking the market higher, folks. It has been. It continues to. And as long as it does, you should be doing the same thing. I quit trying to second guess this market um, with respect to what it is or isn't doing. Because right now, this market's going higher, and if you're trying to fight this market, you know, help you. Uh, you know, God help you, right? Yeah, because you're going to get hurt. If we spin around, look at Europe, uh, we'll start here with the FTSE. Uh, the BOE uh, came out, uh, gave uh, better than expected uh, um, guidance, if you will. Action probably is a better term. And that drives this to a, a new high. So we get a, get a breakout here. You'd already gotten this breakout over this swing point high. Now you get this breakout over that swing point high. If you go back and you look at this, right, you kind of got a little range here, and it's just breaking out of that range. Is it going to be able to leg higher? Is it going to be able to do its ABCD structure, all of that? Well, maybe. I don't know. You don't know. We, nobody knows. What we do know, though, is that this market is positive. Why is it positive? Because as the... Uh, the Bank of England depreciates the currency, right? That pushes the market higher. It always does. It always has. If you're not invested in this market, you're missing a pretty good opportunity. You have to be invested in con currency neutral, though, if you're in that market. In other words, if you're in the U.S. and you're trading that market, you don't want to have the currency going against you. It's going to eat up all your gains. If you're sitting in England, you should be loaded up and just riding this thing on the way higher. If we look at the other markets uh, over in Europe, uh, let's take a look here. We've got um, the DAX, the CAX, and uh, the Swiss market. Let's just start here with the DAX. Uh, this is the daily on the DAX pushing back higher. You're sitting at swing point highs. Haven't been able to quite take them out yet, but you're right, Adam. It's going to try again this week. I'd be very surprised if it's not able to get over them this week. Uh, that's the CAX, I mean the DAX. So let's look at the CAX. Uh, the CAX is going to push up. We've got a swing point high here. Um, this one doesn't look very positive. Uh, it probably will just get pulled higher uh, by the other markets. Let's look at Switzerland because Switzerland actually has been giving us the best signals. And let's see what Switzerland looks like. Uh, so you get a push down, push back up, no volume. Let's go to weekly. And so you, they try to push it down. So, so look at what happened here in Switzerland. So they try to push it down, and you got your big volume bars here, right? So this is an undercut reversal, and then you got this big volume spike here. Well, what does this do? It tests into that area, right? Can't get into it, flips it around, does a hammery reversal. This is going to go after the swing point high, go after this breakdown bar. Swiss market is going to go higher. That makes me think all of uh, Europe also going to trade higher as well. So that's Europe. If we look over in uh, Asia, and I'll start with some of these markets I don't look at that much. I'll look at Taipei to start with. So here's Taiwan. It's over, breaks over multiple swing points, gets an extension. 
Uh, don't see anything negative there. If I look at the uh, Hong Kong market, which is uh, one that has been struggling on a weekly, let's see, so it's over its swing point high, over the breakdown bar, and about to get over another swing point high and go bullish. Uh, folks, I, if, if you're negative on these markets, really, take a look at the price action. Take a look at the way they are trading. Let the charts tell you where the supply and demand is. Supply is not enough to suppress demand. If that's the case, you're going to get higher prices. That's what's happening. You can get a pullback at any point. But, but you're a fool to try to trade the pullback. Trade the direction of the trend. Let the trend be your friend. Put it at your back. That's what we do at TA Today. We use the charts to tell supply and demand, and we use that knowledge to make better decisions. That's it for tonight. Have yourself a great one. And uh, if you're trading against this market, really think hard about what you're doing. Have yourself a great one. Good night.